Hey everyone, Spencer Kaufman here with the Honest Reviews YouTube channel. Today we are reviewing a Ninja Foodie. This is a dual zone air fryer, two basket air fryer. It's a great product. We have done an unboxing video, which you can check out in a card up here. That will be on the Honest Reviews channel as well, so you can search for that, find it, watch it, see how it was packed and how we unboxed it and how it looked. But overall, this is a great product. It works really well. It's fairly simple to use. It came with some great instruction manuals with a lot of recipe booklets and everything like that. And if you need some additional help on how to use it and what buttons to push and how, how the functions work, feel free to check out the how-to video in a card up here. That is on how-to video channel. So watch that and subscribe to that channel as well for more tutorial videos. Because this is a review, I'm not going to get into how to use the product, but I'm just going to go over some of the great features that it has. So you can hit this button and turn it on, and then you can use one basket. It automatically defaults to the first basket, which is right here. And then if you want to do something else, you can hit the number two and start up another basket, whether it's air fry, roasting, reheating, or even dehydrating foods. Now, if you want to do something even cooler, you can do like Smart Finish, which has over here little instructions for you. Two different foods, two different ways. It'll get finished at the same time. Or you can do this button, Match Cook, and then that matches the cooking of the foods and you can read about that on this side of the product as well when you purchase it. But if you're wondering whether or not this is something you would like to own, let me go over a couple of the highlights of what I like and what I don't like. So first of all, uh, it's easy to use. I like that. The instructions were clear. I like that. I personally only really use the air fry. I mean, even reheating, I'll just hit the air fry button and let it go. I've cooked a lot of different things in here, tested it out. French fries, chicken nuggets, uh, reheated chicken. We've also done even things like nachos. We've done deep fried pickles. Uh, we've tried deep fried pickle chips. We've tried the spears. I've also done, uh, what else? Uh, reheated cheeseburgers, like from Wendy's or McDonald's. Everything has turned out pretty good. So here we go. Now we'll get into some of the disadvantages. Uh, this is a deep basket. You can see here, it's, it, it, and it's just got the one tray. So like if you want to heat up a slice of pizza, there you just get like one slice of pizza in there and that's about it. Getting it out of there is difficult because unless you're going to like dump it out, uh, you have to try to get under there with a spatula, get it onto the side, and then slide it out, which is fine. Uh, if, if you only heat up things like that, like pizza or nachos or quesadillas, uh, then you're probably going to want a different type of air fryer that has the shelf in it, more like a traditional um, oven or stovetop oven, countertop oven, or like Dutch ovens or the uh, toaster oven type style of air fryer. But if you use this for french fries and chicken and reheating things, even the cheeseburger in there was good. You could put a couple of chicken breasts on there. You can fill this whole sucker full of fries and chicken nuggets and you could, you could just shake it up and as long as you don't spill it, they all cook evenly, even the ones that are deep down compared to the ones in the middle and the ones on top cooks pretty well with the air frying. I definitely love it way more than a microwave. Also, it's way faster than an oven, so I love that. And the cleanup is really, really easy. So all you need to do is take this, put it in the top rack of the dishwasher, and it's done. You can also wash it by hand if you'd like. Uh, the other thing to note is this is hot. I guess a lot of people get careless and they set this up here, which then would melt your top, so don't do that. Or they set it on a counter, melts the counter, don't do that. Really overall, a great product. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Again, if you want to know how to use the product, then go to the How To Video Channel video. A link will be in the description below. I know this isn't a tutorial video. I kind of went over a little bit on how to use it, but for more detail, please check out that video. In addition, I hope that you like this video. A little overview, seeing the product, seeing some of the features, how it looks and getting my feedback. I've used it a lot and I'm going to continue to do so. It's pretty much one of my new favorite kitchen appliances and I will use it 
probably at least once a day for cooking or reheating food. If you, again, any questions or comments, post them below, and I really hope that you consider liking, subscribing, and clicking on that bell icon to stay tuned to future videos on the Honest Reviews YouTube channel. Thank you.